Hello babe, welcome back to my channel. My name is TK Shamwani. I hope you're well and I hope if you are new here, you're going to stick around. This is a beauty and wellness channel and uh, we talk all things beauty and wellness basically and a little bit of vlogging. So today I'm gonna treat you to something um, that I'm excited to do with you guys. Uh, one of my subscribers asked me to do, um, what do you call it, a feminine hygiene, um, video so i thought that was interesting um but yeah i was very keen to do it so i hope you will enjoy what i'm going to show you some of the feminine products that i feminine hygiene products that i use and i look forward to you telling me if you are using any of the things that i'm going to show you or if you have something else that you would like to suggest let's learn together all right all right let's start so i'm going to have this in different groups right so there'll be the real feminine so think of vaginal care and then my body and all of that so we're gonna start with the most interesting one right this is always more exciting because <laughs> i think everybody's use is different and you know there's so many views about what we should and should not use um you know around our vagina and everything like that so um disclaimer so if you have a different view no problem you are more than welcome to bring it forward however please note this is what i do and i'm not saying you should do it it's just i'm doing it because somebody asked and they were interesting to know my feminine hygiene so let's start with this one i started using this product oh, i'm using natural light so it might be too bright i hope you guys can see it it's a brand called lele feminine um, this is called cookie balance all right so basically cookie balance is it helps with a relief from unbalanced vaginal yeast and order causing bacteria soothing and calming without disrupting the vaginal ph so when would you use this i'll show you what it is first right i mean after so it is used to improve a uh, vaginal ph reduction in bacterial vaginosis also known as bv it helps with recurring uh, yeast infection, vaginal dryness, unpleasant odor, unbalanced discharge. So basically it helps with restoring your pH uh, levels, right, of your vagina. So it looks like that, it's capsules like this. And then what you do is you use this applicator that looks like this. Okay, so you put the capsule in there and you push it forward into your vagina before you make that face that face you know which face you i'm talking about because women do this all the time when you say anything to go into the vagina they go oh, and you're like oh 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 i see you girl so i hope you're not doing that face i'm being naughty with you guys but yeah so if you do struggle now and then uh from um you know uh what is it like i said now now so yeast infection, your pH balance goes off. There's so many reasons that could happen. I mean, one of the popular ones may be, you know, you may, um, your, your partner, sexual partner, you know, my husband, whatever, um, might throw off your pH balance because their pH balance is a bit off. Therefore, you get yeast infection or any of the BVs, right? That's one that's popular. However, it's so many other things. You know, yeast infection can be, can be caused by what you eat, so sugar can throw off your, um, you know, your pH balance. It can be other certain foods. It can be um, using public trans, uh, using public um, toilets can, you know, do that. Someone else who had a yeast infection and therefore you get it too. So there's so many reasons and some people are more prone to it than others. So there's many reasons for that. But I think that, yeah, it's something to try out. I got it from uh, Take A Lot. Because also me now and then I get this infection. I've been seeing this product for a while and I thought, hey, you know, let me try it. Um, sometimes you will get yeast infection before your period, sometimes after your period. So for whatever reason, this I found was great. No funny feeling inside. You basically just in, uh, put the capsule in and put it in, it stays there. And then you leave, you put it on in the evening and throughout the evening, basically releases whatever. And you know, the next day you will see your feel fresher and nicer and whatever. So the, it is recommended to use it for five to seven days. But I mean, if it's nothing too hectic in terms of yeast infection, I think one or two days should do the trick. It's even recommended that you can use it after your periods if you just want to feel a bit fresher and everything like that. You guys know the vibe, right? To each his own. All right. And then the next thing also from the same uh, brand, uh, Lele Femin Feminine. It's actually a South African brand while we add that. 
they're south african you can get their products from take a lot and their website but i think take a lot is the best way because they're very quick with delivery as well as collection so when i went to buy these it was ready two days later and you know so easy peasy you don't have to wait forever so let me show you this one this one is pre and probiotic supplements yeah, oh, there's too much light in here can you see yeah it's showing there uh it's pre and probiotic supplements you guys are probably very familiar with uh pri probiotic supplements which are great for um basically make sure that you have good bacteria in your in your in your intestines or in your stomach and um it helps with gut health you know the health of our guts is a big deal for us you might need to make sure that you know your colon is clean there's good bacteria in there you know if your gut is not happy you've got a uh, brain fog and all other things that happen however what is so special about pre and prebiotics actually let me tell you what they do in detail I actually put it took a screenshot of it um, for those who don't know so probiotics are foods or supplements that contain live microorganisms intended to maintain or improve their good bacteria, normal micro, uh, microflora in the body. Prebiotics are foods, typically high fiber foods that act as food for human microflora, all right? So with this brand specifically, they've created this with a combination of other things that help with, uh, to maintain healthy levels of vaginal flora and yeast levels. Okay, so it basically it helps, um, you know, making sure that, you know, everything is proper in your vagina and everything like that. Um, what else can I say about this? Yeah, but that's basically it. So you use one every day um, in the morning on an empty stomach and it does what it needs to do. And yeah, the pre and probiotic supplements. I will put the prices. Will I do that? Yeah, I'll put the prices just about 200 and something on take a lot so those are the two products that i used to make sure that the girl is good and everything like that also if you struggle with order or anything like that when it comes to that all those things they really help you know there's days where the girl is like mm, you know and you want to make sure that you stay cool and fresh that's it all right and then we're going to move on to um what I use to get rid of hair in my pubic area and as well as my underarms. I know this is another thing where people have their own opinion about it. I like to remove hair because when it's hot, hair and heat in places where you're covered generally means dodginess, sweaty smell and all that kind of stuff. And I do not want to smell <laughs> anything like that. So this is what I use. I use um, Vit hair removal cream this one specifically that is for uh sensitive skin i use that you can see it's finished and then otherwise i also use this one mandy hair removal lotion for legs and body yeah so that is what i use and yeah it keeps everything happy so basically this normal way make sure that i just clean it up leave it for five minutes and then wipe it out take a bath and we live happily ever after so that's what i use i want the girl to be clean another reason i really clean my pubic area in terms of remove shaving is because um after i had my what is this thing uh da -da 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 -da. let me remember my fibroid um operation two years ago i find if you've had a c-section or fibroids you know that just um between like your pubic area and your tummy and your waist rather there is that line right where you've been um where there is the the, the stitching i find now so let's say this is the stitch right where you know i was cut for the um for the op when my hair grows when it touches that stitch area it's so itchy let me know if you can relate it is so itchy so i can't even keep it for long because it starts getting itchy and it's so so uncomfortable and everything like that so that's why i have to make sure that i always clean so that i don't have to uh walk around in public and <laughs> tapping myself you know the drill guys 
yeah you know the drill okay and then the next thing that i use i want to show you it's also from that brand that i told you guys about called um la femme this is a serum from ingrown hair i've only been using it for a few days um so i can't give you results yet but basically it's meant to help with ingrown hairs but it also helps with lightening that area it's not a concern for me really i, I mean it is that it is it's generally darker isn't it yep um but i'll tell you how it goes because i know there are people who are concerned about that so i use it there i use it also under my arms and now I've, actually the reason i bought it is for my head because i do get ingrown hairs about three or four days after i've shaved my head so that was the re main reason i bought it but i figured since you can use it everywhere else let me try it and see how it goes maybe one day i'll come back to you guys and tell you that it does make it lighter or if you know it really stops the ingrown hairs and everything like that but yeah this is the name of the product ingrown hair serum to eliminate ingrown hairs and bikini bumps that is how it looks can y'all see hey i'll write it up there okay then the next thing that i am using let me just remove all these things the next thing that is also part of feminine hygiene um when it is that time of the month the menstrual cycle um i've got a few things that i use <laughs> i need to make you guys laugh so i only discovered the other day that when a woman says i'm in japan they mean they're on their periods how many years old were you when you found that out right it makes sense because the, the the flag of japan is white and red in the middle right like a red dot very creative people have so many names i mean we say time of the month some say auntie rose is visiting there's just so many i don't know why we don't call it the way should is it the menstrual cycle the menstrual cycle is literally the whole time right because it's different cycles within that cycle i don't know but anyway yeah when you're in japan these are some of the things that i use so i haven't been using uh pads for a while because yeah i've stopped just doesn't i don't enjoy wearing pads anymore i'd rather use tampons i find that they're more effective for me and i don't have to worry much and i don't feel so grossed out and i've only started using tampons about three years ago i think yeah and i haven't stopped i really enjoy them so obviously this i use at night because that's the super size and this is the regular one that i would use during the day right and then i also use um menstrual cup i don't know if you guys are familiar with menstrual cups i bought them bought it a few years ago i don't use it much anymore especially after i remove my fibroids i don't um bleed heavily therefore it's not a big deal for me i feel like it's a waste to keep this the whole day whereas i can just remove um, a tampon but now and then if i find myself in a situation where i can no longer afford tampons or i cannot you know um have access to tampons for whatever reason i will use this menstrual cup if you're interested in knowing how it is used so basically that is how it is right so you'd press that okay and then insert it so obviously it would be facing this way right and then you open your legs the same way you would open when you're putting in a tampon and then you press it in and then it's gonna open like that inside. So you have to be relaxed. If you tense, it's gonna feel uncomfortable. Otherwise, once, once it's inside and it's put on properly, then it's comfortable. It usually comes with a tip. I was uh, I removed it because at that time, I think because I had fibroids, it was so painful um, and uncomfortable in this area. So I cut it off because anyway, when I do take it out, cause it would have been like this when you take it out. So you then squeeze it and it comes off like that so i think it's actually such a great innovation or you know uh, creation because first of all it's economical because you buy one for whatever amount at the time about seven six years ago it was 400 rand for this one i bought it from a lady unfortunately she's now passed but i know it's more easily access accessible right now and then it is suggested that you replace after every 10 years you know what i'm saying unlike buying these guys which are like 50 something rand for a packet or 30 depending on the size and the amount that you buy and everything so yeah that is what i use i either use tampons or i use a um menstrual cup okay if you've got questions about the menstrual cup you're more than welcome to pop your questions below or google will help you right and then on like a day-to-day -day or day now and then basis i use um what do you call it i use pads um not pads what are these 
panty liners. I know now people are saying we shouldn't use them every day. I don't know. It depends how I'm feeling that day. If I want to feel extra fresh and the color of underwear I'm wearing, then I definitely prefer this. I just feel like they make our panties last longer because the reality is the urine um, drops somehow on our panties and what happens they get it gets lighter or discoloration where I feel like when you've got a, 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 um, a panty liner it just makes your panty quality to last longer I think oh the sun is getting too much I think I need to move a little bit to this side because I can't see you guys no more let's see okay that's better all right, where shall we move on to? So that's that when it comes to, you know, the pubic area and everything like that. I am now going to move over to the body, the things that I use to wash my body and to also make sure that I stay hygienic, all right? So I'm gonna go into here. So I use this brand, uh, Shield, the one that is uh, Invisible Jam Defense, I mean, two hour antiperspirant for uh, my underarms, okay? For not sweating and it works well for me. That is what I use okay and then next you guys have seen my video where i show you what i use to shave my head so i use this powder called the shaving powder i get it from take a lot as well but you can get it at any of these big um hair wholesalers like your jumbos and everything like that so it's powder doesn't smell great once it's mixed with water <laughs> it smells like rotten egg but the smell goes you mix it with water into a paste you put it on let it dry and then wipe it off basically that's it so i don't go to the salon anymore i do my hair at home and then after that also you are not supposed to wash it with like soap uh, you just wash it rinse it with water only the next day then i will use soap shampoo or whatever and now obviously i have now introduced this girl which you don't even use immediately also this one you have to use after 20 um four hours oh guys i hope this video is gonna be okay because i feel like the lighting here is showing me some flames okay that's basically how that looks Alrighty, let us move on to the body like i said so i use these gloves in the evening to exfoliate my body it's quite soft it's not very hard obviously it has that kind of like a uh, rough kind of surface but it's not hard in a way that it's uncomfortable on your on my skin i use this in the evening with my body wash whatever brand i choose to i'm enjoying this one it's thick it smells amazing i love it and it lasts very long so i love this uh and during the in the morning when i bath then i just use my normal um uh face cloth all right well the body one that is okay and then the other thing that i do so this used to be um about salt soak right what i do is i take this girl the body wash i mix it with my brown sugar and that becomes my uh you know my scrub that i use once a week maybe on a sunday as part of my self-care or whatever or on weekend saturday whatever the day that i feel relaxed and i want to do all those things what i've discovered though in winter the granules definitely stay um in your thingy and it's rough but when it's summer like right now it's melted so it's pointless so what i suggest is that you mix it when you want to use it okay so when you're about to take a bath or a shower take your, sh your shower gel and mix your your and take your salt uh, your what do you call it your brown sugar at that time and mix you know and clean yourself up and scrub versus keeping it because it's going to melt and defeats the purpose so you would have wasted your sugar like i did all right and then the last thing i want to show you guys are all familiar with is the um, body cream that i use i change these a lot okay depending on what i feel like you know this one uh, is quite popular is dawn the one that helps with reducing appearance of stretch marks and it's got argan oil i just enjoy anything that has argan oil but i will still mix it with my tissue oil so i use this one from bramley okay uh this one is the shea butter i either use this one or the magnolia always especially in the morning i love to have that smooth you know when people hug me they must just feel smoothness okay and even evening i use it as it is because i don't need my skin to be that slippery anyway sorry i got interrupted i just wanted to say yeah that's basically what i use for my body to make sure that it's smooth feels great to the touch and everything like that and in the evening i definitely just use it without the tissue oil 
and yeah that's basically it i hope you've enjoyed that let me know what you are using um and uh if you have any questions about anything that i spoke about today i hope you've enjoyed it and we will see each other again in my next video thank you so much for suggesting these kind of videos i am you know i love talking about stuff like that so i really appreciate it when you guys you know give me suggestions then i know what my audience or my subscribers would like to see so thank you remember to subscribe like and leave a comment and um yeah we'll see you in our next one bye